Those experiences, be they positive or negative, make us the person we are. At any given point in our lives, and like a river flowing, those same experiences and those yet to come continue to influence and reshape the person we are, the person we are to become. None of us are the same as we were yesterday, nor will we be tomorrow. If yesterday didn't happen, you wouldn't be the person you are today. In Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, we want to highlight today that verse. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring about this present result. Mm. People who mean to harm you, to set you back, don't always understand that it's just a setup for what God has planned for you in the future. This was the situation with Joseph and his brothers. I heard someone say, it'll be family that do you like that. <laughs> was a dreamer. Uh -huh. Yes, he was. And he was rejected by his brothers because of the favor he had from his father. Yes, yes. His father, Jacob, Israel, gave him a coat of many colors. He was stunned like a daddy. He had, what's the new fashion right now? I don't know, I'll keep up with it. I, I'm still stuck in the 90s and some of my starter jackets was a big thing. I don't know. These kids nowadays, they want something. Louis or Gucci or North, North, North Face. North Face. Yeah, yeah. North Face. Yeah. He had his nice jacket of many colors, and his brothers were jealous mm -hmm. and envious. Yes. And they had in their hearts that they would kill him, their own brother. But they settled for just tossing him in the pit. They settled for just selling him as a slave. They settled to just take the coat, to rip it up, to put blood on it, and to tell their father he was dead. The American natives will tell us that death is better than slavery. His situation, Joseph, that is, will go from bad to worse. From the lowest slave in Potiphar's house, he would elevate up the ranks to the highest. Then he would get me too. That was a big movement a few years yeah, ago. By Potiphar's wife, who accused him of sexual misconduct, even though he refused to lay a finger on her. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm His -hmm. accusation caused him to be tossed in prison. Yes. Uh, yes. So from the pit to follow his house as a slave and now in prison. He was 17 years old when he was sold into slavery. And for 13 years he suffered setbacks. Mm. Before being released from prison at the nice ripe old age of 30. Um, and now he's about 33 years old when the famine hit caused his brothers to come to Egypt. His brothers come after a series of back and forth with them. He reveals himself and he forgives them. But now their dad has died. And they fear that Joseph's going to switch some things up. Uh -huh. Daddy ain't here to protect us anymore. I know what this is like. My brother used to pick on me, my older brother. He used to pick on me. He used to rough me up. 
<laughs> to think he could discipline me at times. I remember one time, sometimes, and I think we all can relate to this, we just had enough. <laughs> we just had enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't an accident on purpose between Ridgeway Way and, and uh, Blair Avenue and Kathy uh, Apartment and my mom got home after he had been picking with on me all day and, and I was like, I'm going to tell her when, when she gets home, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell on you. He's like, if you tell her, I'm going to beat you worse. I'm going to make it worse on you. My mom got there and he come, he come just to get in my face to intimidate me. Oh, and I co-cop him. I hit him hard. And I ran. I ran. I ran to the machine. I ran to my mother's arm. He was grabbing her. And he, he, he chased after me. She was like a wall, a fortress. In front of him. Yes. That he couldn't get past. But he had that look. <laughs> My ain't going to be here forever. <laughs> I'm going to get you eventually. And that's got to be the feeling that the brothers had. Yeah. I feel like Dad was there to, to keep Joseph from, from revealing his true colors. Yeah, yeah. From showing us how he really felt. What was really on his mind, Dad kept us covered. He was like a wall or a fortress in front of us. But now, Dad's gone. I've seen this happen to so many families. You see maybe the matriarch or the patriarch, the mother, grandmother in the family who passed away. And she was like the glue that was keeping everything together. Yes, yes. And sometimes she can't even die in peace because when she dies, the whole family falls into dysfunction. That's right. The whole family will fall into chaos. That's the whole right. family will fall into disorder. Yes, That's yes, right. yes, 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 yes. That's got to be what the brothers anticipated would happen when their dad had died. He said, if Joseph holds this grudge against us and pays us back in full for the wrong we did to him, Lord have mercy. Hey, 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 just think about it. The way they treated you, if you treated them in the same manner, Oh if you brought that fire with fire. Wow. Wow. If you matched their hate with me. Wow. If you took the knives out of your back wow. and stabbed them in there. Wow. Oh. Wow. Imagine those chaotic situations. Yeah. Wow. That's what was on their mind. Yes. With, what is he gonna do to us? Mm -hmm. I know what we can do. We can tell him what daddy said. What was daddy's fire? Fine wishes. Daddy ain't say nothing like this. Let us tell him what daddy said. He don't know. He wasn't there. Let us tell him what daddy said. So we're going to tell him, daddy said this. This, this is what we're going to instruct. We're going to tell him, daddy said this before he died. Good. Please forgive us. For the wrong that they did to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now please forgive the offenses of the servants of God mm -hmm. and of your father. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Joseph had already forgiven them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh. Um, he had already Considered everything. Mm -hmm. His love for them was greater than the hate that they showed him. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. He had already put it in the past. Yes, yes. 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 So it hurt him mm -hmm. that they would still feel this way. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. It's, it's, it's one thing if if somebody forgives you or, or say they forgive you and they continually bring up the wrong that you did. Yes, 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 yes. That's another thing when you forgive someone. My God. My God. My God. And they still act like you have forgiven them. Yes. Oh, you may have forgotten what it means to be a brother. Yes. 
not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? Sometimes we need to ask ourselves that question. Yes. Am I in the place of God? Yes, I hear you. The Bible says that we ought to leave room for God's vengeance, yes. for God's yes. wrath, yes. for God's judgment. Yes. And not try to exact vengeance on our own. Yes. Are we in the place of God? Yes. yes. Oh. This is the beautiful part. He says here, he says, as you meant it for evil mm -hmm. against me, oh. but God meant it for good. Yes, he did. Yes, yes he did. Yes, yes, yes he did. Yes. See, the beautiful thing about Joseph mm -hmm. is that in spite of all his suffering, uh -huh. he stayed faithful yes, to God. He yes, yes, he did. Yes, yes, he did. 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 And in his faithfulness, through his suffering, from mm -hmm. the pitch, to Potiphar's house, Same. to the prison, Same. God will eventually have him ascend to the yes. throne in Egypt. Yes. Second to yes. only Pharaoh. Yes, 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 yes. 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 That's so See, Joseph understood what Paul said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That he who begins a good work in you yes. will carry it yes. on into yes. complete yes. Yes. into the day of Jesus Christ. Yes. But so many of us, when we face our trial, when we stub our toes, uh -oh. when we have our issues, uh -oh. when we have our problems, when drama finds us, yes. we say, why? I don't deserve this. Why me? It's not fair. Why me? Versus why not me? Yes. Yes. Should I accept the good from God and not accept adversity? Should I accept only the good in life and not expect anything bad to happen? Why not me? I'm no better than Job. Why not me? I'm no better than Joseph. Why not me? Let me bring this a little closer to home. I'm no better than the people in Maui. The terrible things she said to you, yeah. the horrific things he did to you, mm -hmm. the difficulties that you dealt with or even deal with right now in this season. Yes, yes, yes. my Lord. Yes. Those are a part of your story. Yes, yes it is. Yes, but it they is. are not the whole story. Amen. Amen. I don't know who needs to hear that today. Maybe we need to tell somebody that's not the whole story. Yes, yes. That's not the whole story, see. Some saints in here already know this. Life has taught them this. A lot of us, a lot of you, don't look like what you've been through.
But the story is not over. I heard somebody say, you got to judge it by the results. Yes. You got to let the whole thing play out. Yes. Yes. See, the score don't matter at the start of the game. The score don't matter at the end of the first quarter or even at halftime. The score don't even matter at the end of the third quarter. It ain't over until it's over. And your story is still being written. To watch that, that Colorado, Colorado State football game last night. I went to see if I had to go to sleep. Then I, I just woke up. The game was still on. I'm like, let me, I got to see how this thing going to play out. Amen. See, last night, Colorado was down 11 points with eight minutes left in the game. It says that their probability rate to win was less than 8%. So they had a 92 plus percent chance to lose the game. And even with two minutes left in the game, Robbie, they were down eight points with the ball on their own two yard line, 98 yards to go, just to tie the game. They had a 99.4 percent chance probability to lose the game. They went down and eventually tied the game and went to overtime. Yeah. Then they won the game in overtime. Wow. See, I don't know what it looks like in the like two overtime. Two overtime. Maybe it's going to take you an overtime in the second overtime, but you'll get the win. Yeah. Look, I What was going through his mind at that time? The odds are against you. And you virtually have no chance to win. He said, the only thing that was on my mind was going into Brady mode. He said, I knew that they left too much on the clock. I got all the time in the world. 
Somebody in here was facing evictions and getting car repossessed. That, that was a while ago. Amen. But the testimony didn't end there. The yeah. story didn't end there. Yeah. That, there was still time on the clock. And if you're going through that right now, yeah. uh, this ain't how the story goes. Deep down in our souls and our body and our, our bones, we know that 